Hello Leos. This reading is for a general energy check to see for the upcoming week, the last week of February, starting the 26th to the first days of March. Let's take a look and see what energies are building up both around yourself as an individual and your environment. I'm going to pull out some cards. I'm going to add an additional energy to them. If anything needs clarification, we will clarify and then we'll get into it. I'm going to shuffle a few more times. And see. I think this is good. For Leo's. Is this for you? <laughs> Ten of Wands. We'll see how uh, Ten of Wands goes. Three of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Death. The Lovers. Ace of Swords. So, this is a worthwhile labor to undertake for your home love possible love definitely big changes that you are working towards leo in your energy to two opportunities in your energy i'm going to do your environment Prince of Cups, the Star, Two of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, or oh, excuse me, yeah, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, and finally Nine of Wands. Interesting. I'm going to go and clarify, well not clarify, I'm going to add an additional energy. So we have one word out here. Let's bring one more to create a short sentence. So I'm going to do the Ten of Wands first. Ten of Wands gets Six of Cups. Put those over there. Three of Pentacles gets Seven of Cups. Four of Wands gets Four of Wands. I'm going to clarify that Four of Wands, the second one. I have two cards that want to come out. King of Cups to clarify our Four of Wands, Four of Wands, Leos. going to do, this wants to come out, should we just take nine of cups for death? I think it's fitting. The lovers gets seven of pentacles. Ace of swords for Leo's gets nine of swords. Let me you do your environment. Prince of cups it gets King of Cups, King of Swords rather. Two of Pentacles gets Knight of Wands. Fitting for that energy. Some <laughs> hot times. Eight of Pentacles to our Eight of Wands. Star gets a High Priestess. I'm going to throw one more on that High Priestess as a clarifier. It's going to fill out. Let me get that. One moment. I'm wondering if I should take this. It was a 
Knight of Swords that came out when I wanted to clarify the High Priestess. I'm going to throw one more as a clarifier. The Tower. Okay, fitting for the Knight of Swords to be in that energetic company. Ten of Cups gets Leo's. Three of Cups. And finally, Nine of Wands. Judgment. You have a very active week. You just look it over real quick. See if there's anything additionally I want to clarify. I am going to clarify this King of Swords in your environment. Four of Pentacles. And what else will I clarify? I'm going to clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Two of Cups. And finally, I'm going to clarify in your energy the Nine of Swords. Here a font. Okay. So from what I see, I don't see any cautions. I do see, well, let me say over cautions. I do see lots of people in your energy, Leo. Like, for instance, this card in your environment. Two of Pentacles together with Knight of Wands. The Two of Pentacles always speaks of balance, right? I mean, no matter what deck you're in, it's going to go and have that as a forefront. However, this energy is also speaking of erotic interaction as opposed to let's say a two of cups interaction where you have emotional attachment it's like you know physical attraction physical attraction together with our knight of wands hey, hey. i'm going to say that that is um <laughs> my cat meowing <laughs> i'm going to say that this is um You're going to have people coming into your circle, into your energy here, especially with this environment, Ten of Cups with Three of Cups. There's going to be parties, or the opportunity to party. I see that here, at least with the energies I'm picking up for the collective. People are going to want to be around you. They're going to be physically attracted to you. They're also going to enjoy the company that you provide. Vice versa, I imagine, as well. I will say that with the Prince of Cups together with the King of Swords, the King of Swords being clarified, excuse me, clarified by the Four of Pentacles. I will say with, with these two energies though, although you're going, you can engage, you will engage, you're still going to be very, not going to give a hundred percent. You know, you're going to go and weigh Way the relationships that you are around. No doubt about that. I think the reason why, as well, you want to make sure what you're getting yourself into. The High Priestess is clarified by the Knight of Swords and the Tower. There is something coming into your energy, Leo's. Same thing, this is all still environmental energy. Same thing with the Nine of Wands together with Judgment. Nine of Wands speaks of mastery, accomplishment, recognition, going through all the necessary stages to that perfect 100% fulfillment, you know, from start to finish. It's a different Nine of Wands energy than, let's say, the standard decks. You're, you're mastery and you, you're getting what you wished for. This is a good tower that's here. Something is rushing in and because of that, you don't have to be hasty. I'll say the same thing with this energy as well as terms of people coming into your energy, Leos. We have the Eight of Wands 
together with the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles clarified by Two of Cups. Working on your relationships, I feel that there are going to be lots of there's opportunities that are going to come up unexpectedly. Knight of Wands, Eight of um, Wands, the Tower, as I already have mentioned before. I think those are the fastest moving energies in your environment. Now for you yourself, on your energies, Let's see, where can we start? Well, as I mentioned here with the Prince, Prince of Cups energy in your general energetic, like environmental energy, together with the King of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, despite the fact that you're having lots of, let's say, people that you can pick and choose of who you want around, still going to be very judicious about who you allow in a hundred percent and I think that's where our lover card comes in with the seven of pentacles you have the options but you're looking for the right people you are willing to put the work in and you have many people to sort through. There is a definite gain I am seeing here with the death card and nine of cups perhaps. You will make a choice. You will progress a relationship forward. And maybe that's also what this energy is alluding to as well, Leo's four cups and a second four cups is curious okay what does this second four cups stand for king of cups energy so you definitely are working on building that attachment i will say as well that with this particular card together with this energy it's like soulmate together with a strong foundation this one doesn't speak so much of soulmate this foundation also the infinity of it all you're creating something that's long lasting Leo's it's interesting that we have this element here you could feel tied to the past I could see if you are actually working towards that Six of Cups energy or just simply laboring under it. Let's pull one more card on that, Leos. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. I think you're laboring under it. Let me put one more under the Nine of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Strength. Hmm, let me do one more on the Six of Cups. I'm going to clarify the Six of Cups. The Sun. Hmm. So, Six of Cups clarified by the Sun. This is still very fresh. Are you laboring to bring back a past person or situation? I think so. I think it could also go another way as well, Leos. I think some of you could take the past person or memories as a message or as a learning chapter. As for those of you who are single, and you're celebrating your strength. So whether you're celebrating your strength to move forward, seeking new relationships, which definitely they are out there, people are interested in you, or whether you're using your strength in which you have gained while being single 
to really put in the time and effort to bring in or to be ready for when this past person, when you start to engage this past person again. There's also that possibility. I feel this could go two ways. One way it could speak of moving on and growing, and the other way it could speak of becoming a better person to overcome whatever hurdles existed with this past person. Could be either way. I think it just depends on the collective of and who who I am speaking to. Okay, but I think that is Oh, one more energy here. Ace of Swords with Nine of Swords. Again, there's opportunity here for you that you're thinking about. Op work that you're going towards. Uh, that just doesn't have one specific outcome. It could have many. I feel this speaks to it as well. Ace of Swords with Nine of Swords. It's like once, too, you start down a new path, it's a new path. You know, the worry of if you're making a right decision or not. Nine of Swords is clarified by the Hierophant. Maybe because we do have these energies that all speak to domestic happiness and interpersonal relationships. You know, some things, once you start down them, they do close, permanently close out other chapters that perhaps are still open to you now. And that could be the anxiety of the Nine of Swords. What do you choose? What do you choose in your life? And as you choose things in your life, you can't choose it all. You can work at all of them to a certain extent, but only to a certain level. And then once you continue working on, let's say, multiple items to a certain level, then you have to choose, well, what gets my primary attention? What gets my secondary attention? Is there really any attention left after your fifth priority? Right? It depends. But either way, those are the energetic <coughs> excuse me. Those are the energetic messages I have for you, Leo. Let me know if they resonate. If they do like or leave a comment. If you'd like to see more content, subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, thank you. As you know, I very much appreciate your time. I'll be doing a live sometime this week. I think I'll be doing two lives. I'll be doing one on Celebrity Tarot, and I think I'll be doing another one on maybe just general reads. Could be like person on your mind, maybe career, I don't know. I think they're going to be open. I'll put up... Uh, I'll create the live little scheduling video placeholder thing on YouTube so you can see but yeah I'm going to have two lives this week so if you want to go and join me there I look forward to possibly seeing you okay bye bye